Hey everybody, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. Today's Thursday. Feel like crap, but I'm still alive. So today, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna work on some cottonwood. We've got another piece. We are gonna try something like that. So gonna be like, well, you know what I mean. It's gonna be like that. So what we're gonna have is our there you can see the mouth. We're gonna have a fish coming coming out tail this is going to be like part of the log part of another tree log we're going to have a tree coming up here that's going to that's attached to the bottom here kind of thing and then maybe we're going to put like a dragonfly on here so this is going to be a pickle fish and it's going to be coming up for the dragonfly so we got lots of room so we're going to make it a nice big fish all right so I'll get it all set up and we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna start off with our cuts all product. I always wear my shirt when I'm carving. Can you see that? You can see that with a belt on, whatever. Great company. So, um, put up the link for you guys down below. Use the code <clears throat> RV Woodcraft in capital and save yourself 5% ish, I guess, or more. I'm not even sure. Um, helps me, helps you. Let's do it great tools I recommend them so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get our fish out like we do every other one we're just gonna get in there and try to get them out now we're not gonna worry about the fins right see how I drew the fins up here this is that top dorsal fin we're not gonna worry about that because it's split here and we'll have all the space here to add a fin in okay guys we'll make we'll make our own we'll add it Alright guys, so we're all set up and ready to go. I just wanted to show you my the one I just made earlier. It's uh, the angel. There's the wings. And with the cone that flows upwards. We could also put one on the top that flows downwards. But I need to drill a hole better. And then I also just finished doing the reaper. The reaper on there is the same thing. It has like a little metal base so it doesn't catch on fire. And this one's going to go upwards through into his head and it also goes along the curves there you can see all those curves uh, I just put epoxy on it so that will be the next one so we're gonna start off by doing our fish carving um, we're trying a fish oops make sure that we have that so again we're gonna get out the fish first so let's check that out Start off with the tail. <laughs> Alright. So let's just stop and show what we're doing here. So we got the bottom of the fish kind of laid out. So we want to keep them so that we can go we can undercut them too so that it looks like the fish is swimming, right? And then we're gonna do the same thing for the top. Now we're just gonna use a thickness. I drew a little line here, it's hard to see, but we're going to cut out that end to bring it into the fish so that we know how wide our fish is going to be and then we're going to shape it out. So that's what we'll do is we'll just continue with the cutting, all right? All right, guys, so now we're going to change up a bit. Um, we want the fish to be... Uh, a little thinner through the back so it looks like it's he's in there so it's like it's curved right so we'll change that up all right so we switched out to our longer taper bit now <clears throat> um, I posted on somebody's page on Facebook to check out the cuts all <coughs> excuse me tools and somebody replied I really don't like these kind of ones because they clog up fast and stuff well you know what honestly I don't disagree with that person but I do I do really disagree with what he's saying because um, you, it's how you clean them, right? Uh, the, everything gets clogged up. Even the saber tooths, they get clogged up, no problem. You just got to heat them up and then scrape them off with a metal brush. You know what? As simple as that. So I would say, you know what? It's a personal choice, right? If you want to look at saber tooth, typhoon, whatever, you do it. I'm offering you the cuts all tools. At a percentage off, that's all I can get. It's for you, for me. We do the same thing. So check them out if you want. So let's keep, keep on going. We're gonna, like I said, we are going to round off 
the bottom end of our fish. We're gonna make it thick. So all we did is we undercut our fish. We're still gonna go deeper. We brought them out to the front. And then we're gonna do the top two because it stands, the fish will stand like that. Coming, you can see that. The fish will be coming up like this. And then like I said, well, we're gonna try to incorporate like a log here, like a piece of branch. And then we'll have something standing on it so it looks like the fish is coming after it. So a little bit of work, but we'll keep on going. We got our fish pretty much out. We still want to make it thinner so that you can see that he's got a back, the tail, and all that. We did one dorsal fin, or I don't even know what the hell that's called. That's the bottom fin. And then we got to put the big one up here, the sharp one. Work on the face, thin it out a bit. Work on the face, cut in the mouth, put in the eye, work on the stick. Ah, we got lots to do. All right, we'll keep on going. Alright guys, how's it going? Well, it's 4 o'clock in the morning here. Whew. Waking up to bad sciatic pains. I don't understand this. It's been about three weeks since I was in the hospital and wow. That really just doesn't seem like it's getting any better, but either way, <clears throat> we'll figure it out. <laughs> So I hope you guys are having a good day today, or you'll have a good day today, because you're probably still on bed. I should be, but I can't. And it's Friday. So what we're doing is we're curving out our fish. All right, so right now we got this going on. Now the head is a bit too big, so we're going to take off some of the bottom, and we're going to flatten out the top here just to make it look more proportionate um, four in the morning nobody's up probably everybody's still sleeping but I hope this doesn't make too much noise outside but whatever all right so we took down the face a lot more out and kind of pointed it out working on sort of like the log that or the stick it's gonna go the fish is going upwards so we're gonna set up another bit all right guys so we're gonna change up to a bit that we haven't used yet it's our quarter inch shaft taper um, it's more of a it's a, it's a not as coarse well this is more extreme coarse if you can see the difference <clears throat> This one is a lot more, th it's more like a sanding bit, I'd say. So we're gonna give it a go to get into our little corners and that. So let's try that out, okay? We got our fish pretty much taken out. Um, it's going to be a top view, right? So that's what you're going to see. We need to make our fins, one here, one here kind of thing, and then uh, sand it down, and then we got to make out our dragonfly or whatever we're going to put here that he's coming up at yet. Alright, so let's shoot for a part two on this because it's getting pretty long. Choose your own path, guys. Have a great day.